Oh, hi, Robins. I love ketchup. Do you like ketchup? Well, today's story is called More Ketchup, Please. Take note of this true story. It's not made up, of course, about my sister Ruby and her love for tomato sauce. So if you do know someone who is a ketchup fan, please make sure you tell them how our problems all began. When Ruby was a baby, Dad made a big mistake. He fed her the wrong bottle when he wasn't quite awake. From that day on, it all went wrong and nothing passed her lip without a generous topping of Ruby's favourite dip. She splodged ketchup on her baby food and ketchup on her toast, ketchup on her buttered bread and on her porridge oats. But when the bottle emptied and no more could be squeezed, Ruby screamed and yelled out loud, I want more ketchup, please! As Ruby started growing up, one bottle didn't last. Our little local corner shop was running out too fast. Dad went to supermarkets and emptied all their shelves and staff were filling trolleys like busy little elves. She glugged ketchup on her boiled egg and even in her soup, ketchup on her ice cream too that poured out with a gloop. But when the bottle emptied and no more could be squeezed, Ruby screamed and screamed again, I want more ketchup, please. To keep our Ruby quiet and avoid her piercing shriek, my dad would shop for ketchup maybe 18 times a week. I suggested to my mum, let's make ketchup of our own. So we made our back garden a tomato growing zone. She covered pizza and potatoes. She liked it more than mustard and tomato sauce on all desserts which dripped into the custard. But when the bottle emptied and no more could be squeezed, Ruby screamed with bright red cheeks, I want more ketchup, please. Dad sprayed tomatoes day and night to make them grow more quickly. While Ruby kept on eating sauce, it didn't make her sickly. The neighbours weren't too happy when instead of filling trolleys, we blocked our street with rows and rows of giant delivery lorries. Ruby glopped ketchup on her doughnuts and smeared it round her lips, ketchup on her Brussels sprouts and loads more on her chips. But when the bottle emptied and no more could be squeezed, Ruby screamed, there's no more sauce, I want more ketchup please. Ruby's news went round the world as supplies were running low, while we squished our own tomatoes just as fast as they could grow. Mum called on all the countries from Japan to the United States. Send every ketchup bottle that you have in wooden crates. She covered biscuits and sweet waffles in a thick red gloopy lake. And Ruby even splodged it all over chocolate cake. But when the bottle emptied and no more could be squeezed, Ruby screamed, we're running out. I want more ketchup, please. As helicopters flew over, to drop off their supply, the army and the navy were all waiting on standby. Ruby dipped her chip in sauce and had a juicy suck, but to our surprise she quickly stopped and let out a big yuck. I don't like ketchup anymore. I'm finished with red dip. Send the helicopters back. They've had a wasted trip. Tomato sauce is history. It's time to try new ways. From now on, Mum, I'll have my food with creamy mayonnaise. The end. <laughs>